Does anybody have any idea of what I mean? I'm a nurse. I'm a nurse. Okay. Say, so, yeah, I'm a nurse. Um, which side? Red Cross. Good point. Red Cross. Allied force or the Allied nations actually let go of the German Red Cross because the German Red Cross was actually owned by the Nazi Party. So they stopped donations and they were on their own. So I am what is known as a DRK, Deutsches Reichs Kreuz. That's German Red Cross. I would have been forced, kind of, to sign up because of all the Hitler youth programs that were going on at the time. Bro! I'm coming, I'm coming. Bro! Bro! Oh, I can't tell you what we're doing. Oh, oh my god, oh. that me! Oh my god, oh. hold on. And I would have saw great sights, posters of these young women with these very handsome soldiers. Schnell! Schnell! Was? Was? Bitte, was? <laughs> Telling him how you're gonna be okay and you know everything is wonderful. And there were very big propaganda posters. Okay, hey, try to stay calm. Rob's dead. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> I think I killed him. They actually t convinced a lot of the younger women that the way to go was to join the Red Cross because everybody had to do a national service. That's just the point. You had no choice. You didn't. Your family was looked down upon and there was a problem. So just keep my sweat. All right, we're going to get some water. Ready? Here comes. All right. Okay, just stay still. i got to get the band-aid. You might have to amputate. I'm going to have to stay still. Stay still as you can. Oh, you can't because you're band-aid. Uh. But what happened was is then I would go and I'd be trained in a, in a district of Berlin or somewhere, and they would show me, basically. Uh. Oh. First they put me in this, this dress, which is not very practical for going out into the Red Cross movies. It might be for maybe serving uh, some dinner or food or coffee or handing out chocolate or passing out things, blankets, stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> But when it came down to actually aiding the doctors, either at the aid station or the hospital, mostly that's where we would be. It's the most impractical thing you can wear. As you can see, I'm absolutely filthy. Water! Water! Okay. Right. Let's see. What we got? So what happens is I would get. I would have my medical pouch, or like, it's like they call this a bread bag, like the guys. But in here, basically, what I would have is, first of all, we would have probably maybe small scissors. <coughs> I mean, a lot of neat stuff in here. I got a bottle of chloroform here, okay, and then I'll have a gauze. I'll have a bunch of band-aids and bandages, they would look like this at first. Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. It's quiet. Oh. Now, a lot of you have seen the battle. Did you guys see the battles today? Okay, yeah. if you notice that the aid station, the German aid station, was actually off to the side of the battlefield. In realism, it wouldn't be that close. We just do that because we need the public to see what we're doing. I would still be maybe a couple miles back, maybe like a mile back away from you. So the guys would have to come off the field. There would be a field medic. Fortunately, we did not have a field medic today, and that would happen. There might have been a field medic, but they been killed easily. Nice. Oh. Oh. Nice. 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 Oh. I just this like six Men will take the wounded, they'll throw them either like you saw in the horse, or possibly even on a vehicle like that. There may be stretchers and not be stretchers, and throw the people on. Take them to the first aid station, and that's where I would be. Oh. 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 Trying to get to the first basic part of suturing them up. That's all I would have learned. But I had to do it. Tom! Get it from here! Lovely. It wasn't the glamorous job that was promised when we actually joined. So, most men, if Rich wants to come up here for me, please. Come in, come in. Yeah. 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 Have something like this. Americans have something very similar too. And it's actually in their little, the little pocket inside their tunic. Okay? And we would go in there, and we would, if we didn't have enough stuff, especially rip this open, there'd be a, there might be sulfur in here, a band-aid, a bandage, something that we can help us use. Everyone had. When they get to the aid station, it's, it's, it's like all hell breaks loose, because you're trying to help guys and you just cannot, you can't help it anymore. And you wouldn't have been understaffed because there wouldn't have been any, there's just no way it would have been possible. But they expected it. Oh. You have to stay still. Oh. It was not the glamorous job that was expected. And not only that, it's been forgotten. Nobody really remembers or talks about the role of the oh. We were never allowed on battlefields. So there's also sometimes a myth that we'd be running around in the battlefield. Well, no, we weren't. Today we had a little demonstration where the Allies came in, came to gunpoint with me. And that could have happened. I mean, we talk about this, that could have happened. Not really. This is my first station. It would have a, a black collar. Okay. Shh, shh. Women would not have been out with that. Just not going to see them out there. So, once they're at the aid station, 
you saw the first aid station, then the ambulances would be able to come. We're further away from the bathroom now to avoid the captain. Ready. But it was a very demanding and a very un... I, would, I don't say unsatisfying, but the recognition. It is, it is, and it's still actually said today that for morale boosting the German troops, the DRK really did do that job. <laughs> Without them there, they would hang around the camp, they would hang around the town, the guys would go see them. So in a way, they did fulfill that job of actually being that a woman or having that woman's touch that was missing. And it did help to, to boost them around. They just ran up on us like oh, yeah. It's not the same as the American, the American Red Cross, and like I said, all their money came from their own people. It just seems to be all the people. And it wasn't glamorous, but without them, I think the German army probably would have not have gotten as far as they did. You guys gonna make it? Really huge role for, for women and for that way. Yeah, some units had the arcade attached to the units. So with having that being said, um, they would move with them. And then they would go and set up the hospital or the aid station where they could. We lost this one. He's dead. You have to make the best of what you have. So basically with all that, you just have to kind of do what you can to just try and make sure you can get the job done. No already. No. Yeah. He's dead. Did it rip? You had a hard time ripping it. Yeah, yeah, it was already ripped. Yeah. That's why. So I... You have a red cross on your arm, which I thought was like the red this? cross. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. But you also <laughs> have one. Okay. So, I, yeah. So, we'll, we'll get the yeah, we'll get the yeah. head. Yeah. We're done. We're pretty much done. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something right now. This is an inaccurate armband. The only reason it is that it had a huge swastika on it. I'm not going to wear a swastika. So I basically want to make clear that there was a swastika on your eagle. So most of my stuff would have this pin, I think, does have it on the so tiny you can't see it. So that's how you know because the clock is like right in your face about that. Oh, really? Yeah. So you would have a red cross on your back? I know. Yep. Yeah, I mean, they still like a lot of people, because even if you know it's in the field, but they still went up. Even though they were just owned by the Red Cross, they were still doing the duties of the Red Cross, and you didn't recognize it. And the medics, the medics have the Red Cross. That's why I thought you might have been.